So there we go, everyone. Full time at St. James's Park. It has ended Newcastle United 1, West Ham 1. Um, let's be honest, a um, bit disappointing in that game. Just get straight into it. Um, obviously, we know that Bruno was suspended for this game and the next two games got a three match ban. For getting a red card in the last game, um, you could tell we are missing in the day. Um, I don't want to take much away from the players because I think it's a great point because um, the first two minutes, Willick scores a lovely goal in the box and it's 1-0. It gets choked off because um, the ball's out. It's over the line um, and, the goal, and the referee f um, has basically said the ball's out by Almiron when he crossed it in. So that got choked off. But then two minutes later, not even that, Callum Wilson's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper slotted in 1-0 and that one stands. And when that goes in from Wilson, I thought, we are going to steamroll these three Nelson men because they look terrible. They were shite at the back West Ham. They were awful in the first 10 minutes or something like that. And then after that, though, West Ham started growing up the game, um, started playing really well, really good football, creating chances. Newcastle just looked a bit, tana, like a bit leggy and lack creativity. Um, like in between the lines of the defenders and, and the um, West Ham midfield, we had no one in like the middle, like in the lines, like a number 10 would be in them little gaps. Like a Madison, say, he would be in them gaps to get the ball, collect it, turn and then drive at goal and create chance and score goals. I think we just lack creativity today. Um, just really, really lacked it. Um, Joe Linton went to the ground, he dived. Um, there was no penalty, he got booked for diving. It was a definite dive. Um, pretty embarrassing, I'm honest, but um, the referee booking for simulation. Um, yeah, just looked really flat to Daniel Cassie now, but taking out from um, we've still got a good point today because in the end, West Ham could have won that game. But the way we were playing the second half was just flat, looked really flat to me. Um, obviously, the high of getting to the final, <clears throat> I had a feeling this performance would come after that. Um, but to be honest, great point, unbeaten in 16 games, we're still in the top four, 40 points. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and Callum Wilson again, in my video before this uh, yesterday, I say it's that I was going to go 3-0 on Callum Wilson and, and Maximin and um, Isaac, but Isaac wasn't only on the bench because he was injured with that head injury. Um, but Callum Wilson has done it again against West Ham. He always scores against West Ham. He scored more goals for we against West Ham than any of a league, um, any of a Premier League um, team. So I knew he'd score today. I absolutely knew that Callum Wilson would score. We'll miss Bruno's link up with Miggy. Because normally Bruno um, gets the ball off Almiron and, and he makes a run in the box and um, Bruno just dink one over the top. Um, there was none of that today. Will it try to do that and just went totally wrong? I think we're very sloppy today. I don't want to be too negative though because you know what I mean? But I just think that we weren't at the best today. We weren't at the races today, simple as that. And um, so I think it's a great point because the way we played there, we could have been beaten the end. Um, and obviously, Paquetta got a goal for West Ham. Um, Lucas Paquetta, the one who was linked with Newcastle United, um, but he went, went to West Ham. Bruno's best mate. Um, Bruno will be gutted about this game because he was um, <clears throat> um, in the crowd with his family and his baby. Um, and his dad was there as well. Um, but he would have been gutted because he would have loved to play it against Paquetta because they are best mates. But... He got a suspension in the last game, a red card, and, and that put him out of this game, basically. So, yeah, Baquetta, the ball comes in. It's a scramble. It gets headed to the back stick. Baquetta's the one to react. He whacks it hard and low, goes back the net, and that's 1-1. One, one. So, yeah, that goes in. And then after that, it was all West Ham, basically. And, um, yeah, really lucky we got that, the point. But we'll have to suck it up, people. We'll have to suck it up and say it is what it is. Um, and that was just the way it was today. Uh, it was a frustrating game. Didn't create many chances. I think Joe Linton was outstanding today. Um, an absolute beast, an absolute tank. Joe Linton was everywhere. He was roughing people up, creating chances, um, driving at their back four. He's an incredible powerhouse midfielder, and he had a really good game. But yeah, we just lacked a little bit of creativity today. We missed Bruno, you could tell. Uh, Bruno in the middle, we missed him. We can't wait to have him back. Um, I still think we're crying out for number 10, like Madison. 100% um, we're crying out for that. 
Um, and Gordon, Anthony Gordon came on for Alan St. Maxim in the second half. He was outstanding when he came on. He's one twos, his energy levels. <coughs> excuse me. Um he was unbelievable when he came on. He had some great chances. He set some up, made some good runs. And yeah, he looked really sharp and lively when Anthony Gordon came on, so I was happy to see that. Um if he keeps that, that performance up, I would start going lower maximum. I think St. Maximum for me is just complete just gone. He's just there's, there's, I just don't see enough of him to keep him in that team. I don't see him creating there, I don't see him scoring now. He does the odd bit of skill in that, but apart from that, there's no end product. There's no end product there, and I'd start Andrew Gordon over him. Simple as that. Um, Gordon was unbelievable when he came on. Um, Elliot Anderson came on. He was good when he came on. Full of energy as well, a Scotsman. Um, and Murphy came on as well. But Jacob Murphy, me, is not good enough. Um, I don't know how he still gets a game, but it is what it is. In a few years' time, this team will be unrecognisable. All the dead will be out. But we're not here to talk about that today. Everyone um, works as a team. Everyone, even the bench people, all for one, one for all. And um, it's a good point. Simple as that. It's a good point. That's all I've got to say in it. It's a good point. Didn't play all well best today. Probably in second gear. Um, and that's about it, really. Now we'll move on to the next game. And um, try and get three points there. And that's all we can do. Um. So yeah, that's my little um, match reaction, people. Let me know in the comments section what you thought of the game. Who was your man of the match? Um, that would be great. Let me know down below. And if you could also like and subscribe, that would be great. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, that would mean a lot to me. So I'll leave it there, people, I think. Frustrating night for Newcastle. 1-1 against West Ham. Um. Wilson with a goal for Newcastle, but kept that for the one for West Ham. Um, we'll just have to take that, take it on the chin and move on. Still unbeaten in 16 games, 40 points in the top four. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Could have been worse, could have been beat my win. So, again, good point. I'll leave it there, people. Um, have, a good rest, uh, have a good rest of your Saturday and weekend. And, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, people.